Chairman, to see manager Robbie Simpson's bring the Claret Serie after the win at Great Waker in, in the Essex Senior Cup, Robbie. A good, uh, good run out for the lads. Yeah, really pleasing in the evening, actually. Um, obviously, we, we had a bit of a mix of a team um, with youth, uh, academy players, a couple of reserve players and a mixture of first team players. And we said at the start that the first team players need to show real leadership, um, both with their actions um, and with their voices. And we wanted the young lads to express themselves. And I thought it was that, you know, we, I love tonight because it showcases what the club's all about. You know, that pathway through to the first team, giving youngsters a chance. And it was great for them to get a taste of it, um, a taste of it being a, a proper first team fixture, which we treated it as such. And I thought we were great. I thought we completely controlled, controlled the game, to be honest with you, from, from start to finish. Um, scored a couple of great goals, should have, should have, should have scored a couple more. Um, well, at least a couple more, really. Um, but yeah, overall, really pleasing evening, and we're through to the next round. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's plenty of sort of reserve team players, academy players. You know, Harry Davis and Emmanuel Wanogunja at the back, alongside yourself, I thought played really well and kept a clean sheet with Jacob. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I thought Harry was um, outstanding next to me, um, especially when they brought the, the, the more physical lad. Well, the, the lad in the first half was physical, but they brought an even more physical lad on, and he stood up to that challenge and. Manny's ground groundwork defending was was really good, um, and it allowed Jamie to play higher. And I thought Jamie's attitude for the whole game, um, going for the whole ninety minutes, getting it in his legs. I thought his attitude was outstanding. Um, Kai Yearn in that position again was was really good, especially first half dictated it. And then we dropped in deeper in the second half, and that was nice to see as well. And Harry got a goal, which is great for him. Um, I know he. He wanted the first one that, um, when it came back off the bar, but that was a great header. And he could have had a hat trick tonight, but I'm really pleased that he scored. And Tom and Simeon came on and really looked sharp. And it was it, Finn down the right. I thought was his energy was he was up and down um, all night long. It was it was great to see. And Samba's energy in the middle was was brilliant. I just thought overall it was just a a near perfect um, night. Really, exactly what I wanted from tonight, other than um, more goals. And then, well, your goal was the first one, your first goal in a while, I think. But uh, um, you followed your own advice, run towards goal and get the get the rebound. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because if I preach it, I've got to do it when I play, you know. And all I thought of when I was up there for corners was I'm just going to run to goal because that's what I tell the lads over and over again. And um, and not only of the first phase, um, but the second phase as well. And if you look at statistics more goals are scored from second phases than they are from first phases. Um, so when Harry's had that header, I, I didn't stand and watch and hope it went in. I, I followed the ball and ran to goal and it hit my knee and, and went in. And, and that's how you score goals sometimes. Just carry on running to goal and it will just hit you and go in. So I, I, I'm glad you said it because I wanted to make a point of that visually, not only just me saying it over and over again to them like I do. And we scored the second goal when they were having a bit of a spell when they brought on that Eusebio up front. And, um, but Tom Blackwell come on as a sub for us and laid on Harry Lodovica for to make it 2-0. Yeah, my, I, I really stiffened up at half-time and uh, was getting stiffer and stiffer. And when they brought Eusebio on, I, was, I saw the size of him. I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking this much. And I've, I let him... Uh, I didn't perform great um, after him, he came on and was rightly substituted. But I thought, like I say, Harry handled him well. And when Cameron came on, he, he, he handled him ever so well. So it was no threat once I went off. Um, but yeah, Tom, Tom Blackwell, like, our, our second goal was so simple but so effective. You know, out to Finn Wilkes, just got a touch out of his fleet, feet, slid it down the side to Tom, who made a great run. And Tom made a great decision with his, with his cross. And, and Harry really concentrated on his finish because it's not an easy pitch watching watching the ball bubble towards you, like to stay focused on the ball and have a good finish. It was, it was a really, I was really pleased with the goal, but it was simple. And, and it just goes to show that scoring goals it is simple. It's just pass and move and run to goal and concentrate on your connections and make good decisions. And, and we, we kept a clean sheet, we didn't have the nervousness of sort of Redditch on Saturday, even though it was sort of quite, we were controlling the game, had so much possession, it's easy to sort of switch off for a moment, but we, we kept a clean sheet and saw it out comfortably. Yeah, I've got, you know, I was never nervous on Saturday. Really, I thought, thought it was comfortable, but um, yeah, tonight it was it was even more comfortable. Really, I never never thought that they were they were going to score. Um, so yeah, and that's testament to how well we played on on a difficult pitch and, and a big pitch, and with 
a group that have never played together before, essentially. It's, um, so it's uh, other than the Tolishan, but even then there was different players playing then. So, um, yeah, just overall really pleasing night for us. I suppose to talk about the trophy draws made today, we've got another National League side at home, Wealdstone, the third National League side. We beat them in pre-season, so um, a, a chance for another good game at home in front of the National League side to test us. Yeah, like, like you say, it'll be a good test for us. You know, they're, they're, When we beat them in, in pre-season, I think everybody was tipping them to, to go down and <laughs> with very few points, but then they, they had a great start to the season and... You know they're going well in the National League, and it's it's going to be a test. Even on the day that we beat them in pre-season, I thought they showed signs of being a really good team. So um, we're going to welcome them, and like I say, it'll be a great challenge for us, and we're going to we're going to have to be up for it. And we got Worthing on Saturday away. We haven't played many away league games um, in the last few weeks. We've got a tough trip. They won tonight against Tunbridge, so they'll be on a high. I think they've they've moved up to fifth. So. It's a chance to, to play a, a playoff chasing team and test us against a team at the top of the table. Yeah, they're, they're a really good team. Really good team. They've, um, they're tough to score against. They've got a good defensive record. Um, they play lovely football. They've got a threat. Um, they're physical. We're going to need to be at it and we're going to need to be ready. And you know, We'll prepare Thursday and go there and try and get something. OK, well done tonight, Simo. Congratulations on the goal and the win. Thanks, and we'll see you down at Worthing on Saturday. Cheers, mate.